make sure it turns on. I'm not going to plug a HDMI in this. It's just a HDMI port by the look of it. Yep, it turns on. Okay. Not in good condition. This has not been looked after very well. Go for 160 degrees Celsius. Okay. Grab my uh, screwdriver. Whoops. I always pop that back down a bit, not fully, but just enough to keep it secure to stop it getting damaged. I'm only at 160 degrees Celsius there, by the way, so it's not going to melt the plastic. Just for the record. There we are. This is one very dusty console. The way that's bent, looks like someone might have been in here before. Did a good job of putting the sticker back clean. But the way that's bent, it's not how it would normally come from the factory. This video probably still would have been here without today's sponsor. But hey, it's time to show something, right? So here goes. Here at The Code of Productions, we love nothing more than to take as much money from you, the viewer, as we possibly can. Which is why we're proud to talk to you about ConsoleFix.shop. A great place for you to spend your hard-earned cash. I mean, yeah, fair enough. You get parts and supplies that help you fix things, but you've got to give me some money in return. Nothing in life's free, and if you pay me for it, you might appreciate it more. Or not. Hey, I'm not judging. With that being said, we do have some pretty cool stuff on the shelves, including power supplies, HDMI ports, charging chips, MOSFETs, and whatever else you can think of that will give you the illusion that you're getting a good deal. So head on over to the online store by clicking on the link in the video description and if there's one thing I can guarantee is that there will be a way for me to take your money. Console Fix, your friendly money grabbing YouTuber. Get out. Do it now. That looks violent but it's really not. Microsoft don't give a damn about right to repair. Neither does Sony. Yeah, the way I remove that, it looks it looks like I'm being rough, but I'm really not. You have to be a bit rough with these things. Yeah, it was on me. That one was better. That come off a bit easier. Same as these. Look, to get them off there, you have to be a bit rough. Come on. You can do it. There we go. Okie dokie. Pop the heat sink down to one side. May as well clean this thermal paste off while I'm here. Okay. Right. Let's get rid of the most of that. Right. Full whack. 480 degrees Celsius for this. If there's one thing I can recommend, take the freaking nozzle off while you're working on the HDMI port. That's factory flux by the way.
Here we are, no torn pads. I'm just going to get rid of this adhesive. You don't have to, but I do. Well, if the board will stay still. Might scratch the board a little bit, but you just make sure that the port goes down easier. Start it off with that and then just finish it off with a pair of tweezers. Like that. And you couldn't see because I'm a shit YouTuber. Well, never mind. Okie dokie. Okay, there we go, some fresh leaded solder. I'll just grab a HDMI port, bring it back over to the edge of the desk. There we go. I'm going to wait for the solder to drop through. It should be in about three, two, one. Oi! I said drop through. It might not actually drop through. That one has. Press down and hold and wait a few seconds. And we should be good. Okie dokie. Spill on the ground pad. I can wick that away in a minute. It is fine.
Takes a lot of heat to wick this ground pad. I will use the hot air just to assist me, even though I'm using a fairly beefy iron tip. That'll do it. Just have to make sure that the solder transfers all the way through and gives a good solid contact on each side. Just to make sure. Okay, let's just give these the nudge test. Good, 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 and good, good, good. They're all good. Yeah, good to go. Oh, this is gonna get on camera. Um, see, he's he's on the floor now, but. He was chasing a while up. Ow! <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> that was funny. Look at all the jobs down there. The workshop's not a mess, that's just jobs. Oh, we like that. Right, sorry, Bobby. I need to get back to work, buddy. He's the star of the show now. He is a good cat, yeah. Okay, so... Uh, we're good to go there. Before I put the back on, though, I'm just going to test and make sure we actually get a display. Ugh, right, display. Yeah, buddy. So then I'll get a full test tomorrow, but it does need a really good clean. Uh, I do clean the outside of these before they go back to the customer, by the way. Well, I don't. Sarah does before she packages them up. So Sarah deals with the packaging for these. I'll just book them in, you know, with Royal Mail, and then she packages them back up. Um, but she always cleans them before they go out. So, yeah. There we go. Job done. Happy freaking days. Right. Time for... The console fix seal of approval. Right there, look. The console fix seal of approval. Another fix indeed. That's four for four for tonight. Good stuff. I'm happy.